Next, I will explain the step-by-step -step process. Now, before you learn how to play the flute, you must first learn how to read the music. So, provide some paper and a writing utensil and draw five lines. Now, on these lines, going from bottom to top, left to right, draw a circle. Now, this first note is E, this is G, B, D, and F. Now, a way to remember all these notes is by the phrase, every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, F. Now, the notes in between these lines is F, A, C, and E. A way to remember these notes is by the phrase, or saying, or word, face, F, A, C, E. Now, if you were to draw a stem on these notes, just like this note, it would be called a quarter note. And a quarter note gets a full beat. So if you were tapping your foot, it would go one and. And you can practice counting quarter notes in measures with your metronome. Now, let's learn how to breathe. You might think you already know how, but it's different on the flute. You must learn to breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. So provide a mirror and just practice breathing in and out. A great way to practice is by using your metronome, setting it to a slow speed on quarter notes, and just looking in your mirror and watching your breathing. Now you can also get out your flute head joints and practice aiming up and down. Make sure the corners of your mouth are tight, but not too tight because you don't want to have a bad sound. And make sure that you can fit a watermelon seed between your lips. Now make sure you have a chair, not a bean bag or a cushion chair. And lean forward, sit up straight, and turn your body in your chair slightly to the right with your feet flat on the floor. Great, now it's time to add the flute. Okay, it's time for one of the flute fingerings, but before we do that, Let's learn the proper way to assemble a flute. Watch me carefully. Okay, now let's learn the fingerings. Going from bottom to top, let's go. This is E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Great, now you've learned all the fingerings. Time to put everything you've learned together and learn the C, one octave scale, on the flute. So, have your scale music ready and put your metronome on slow at coordinates at about 70 beats per minute. Play each note as a coordinate for now until you get better practice. Remember, a coordinate gets one full beat. So if you're tapping your foot, it would go one and. Amazing! You just learned to play the flute. I'm just going over the step-by-step -step process of how to play the flute.